Welcome to Life Effects. I'm Dave and this is where I do stuff with effects. Let me start this video by saying this is not a sponsored video. These are just my own experiences with the platform. But I did get the possibility to test the platform and its features. This allows me to give you a brief overview what this service is all about. And later I will give you three things you have to keep in mind before you use the service. So what is Grid Markets? Grid Markets is a growing cloud-based service that allows you to outsource your rendering, simulations and compositing. The simplified idea is you upload your HIP file and you get back the rendered images. And that way faster you could ever do that on your local machine. But there's of course more to it. So let's check it out. For one, there's not only one machine that does the rendering. After the job started, you can observe how many machines are running on your render job. The standard service option has up to 30 machines that run simultaneously. They recently added an alternative mode, which is called the economy service, and this has up to 5 machines. But I will come back to that later. While you could also run a simulation in the cloud, the rendering itself gets broken down into single tasks. Each task contains one single frame. So each frame can be rendered independently on its own machine. By using this distributed rendering, the needed time can be reduced drastically. In my own tests, I could reduce the render time for a project that ran 4 hours on my local machine down to 5 minutes in the cloud. So time compression is the key benefit here. The other benefit is licensing that is incorporated in the service. This means you can use Mantra, Nuke, Arnold or Renderman on 30 machines at the same time without owning 30 licenses. And what got me interested? If you have an Houdini Indie license, you can only output to 1080. On the grid markets, however, you can up that to 4K. To submit your render jobs, you have to download and install a grid markets plugin. You get all the information you need after you created your account. After your account is set up and ready, you can then easily send over the job from within Houdini. The plugin provides new nodes that you can incorporate in your workflows. But of course, like every service, Grid Markets has its price. They use a system where you buy credits and use these to acquire machine hours. The standard render job in Mantra costs you $1.80. That's the one that delivers 30 machines while the economy mode that delivers 5 machines only costs $1.25. And for students, there's also a 50% discount. And I'm curious, have you already used grid markets? And if so, what's your opinion? Are they worth the credits? Let me know in the comments. To set this into perspective, the job that I submitted to create this looping smoke pillow, it needed 5 minutes and 26 seconds for 63 frames. The cost were 3.11 credits. So distributed over all machines, I needed 1.7 machine hours. But let me give you a few hints if you're thinking about using the service. Since I was just starting to learn the workflows of Houdini and the technical dependencies, I did a few mistakes. But since I already made them, you can avoid them. When submitting a project that uses font nodes, make sure that you use only the standard fonts or upload the font with the project. If the font is missing, the render job will fail. Grid Markets is fairly quick to notice that, but since the machines start simultaneously, there will be credit consumption. We speak about 0.13 credits. Another problem you might run into is when you already cached your sim and you want to upload the BGO files alongside with your HIP file. A process that works perfectly as long as you don't forget that you use time shift nodes. Suddenly frame 1 needs the BGO file from frame 100 and you didn't upload that. And once again your render job will fail. If you're not sure which files to upload you can just brute force it and upload all of them. You can do that without additional costs since the needed storage for your project files is free. But keep in mind that after a period of 15 days untouched files automatically get removed. And last but not least, if you're new to Houdini, as I was, caching in Houdini is a crucial concept, especially if you're starting to rendering your scene. While a cached sim can read the BGO files and start the rendering process immediately, an uncached sim has to rerun the whole simulation for each frame. 
This will not only increase the render times, but if you use grid markets, of course, also your costs. The better approach would be to avoid the whole uploading of the cache altogether. Instead, simply create a simulation render dependency, which will automatically run a simulation first. And then with the created simulation, start the rendering process. So keep these things in mind and you're good to go. A cloud renderer might not be the thing for each project, but for those time critical and complex projects, it's a lifesaver. I hope you found that useful and are back next time.